greetings. So welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, I'm here with my mom, and it's Mother's Day, and then I'm just here to celebrate with her. We're just chilling out in this very beautiful place in Kofoidia in the eastern region called the Oak. Um, guest oak house. guest house yeah. yeah they've been very good to us they've given us this space to make this video for you guys i decided to just interview my mom you know and ask her some fun questions about her past her life as a, a young adult and then growing up so that you also get to know her side of the story so yeah if you're new to this channel make sure you're what subscribing tell them and share and share okay <laughs> subscribe like this video and, and share. share so um first of all let's say happy mother's day to all mothers happy, happy mother's, mother's day, day to all mothers and let's just get right into the video So what we are going to do is I have some questions here. So she's going to pick one question. I'll read it out and then she'll give us the answer. Okay. So are you ready? Yeah. Okay. She's ready. So let's just get right into it. Pick your first question. Okay. So the first question is <laughs> what was the most popular hairstyle in your time? Most popular hairstyle in yeah, our time. In your time, yes. okay. You call it Afro punk. Afro punk. Yeah. Okay. Afro punk. How does it look like? Very boosty and the back goes so down. Mm -hmm. the, okay, so yeah. it's like the. I think the normal, well, normal punk, punk, punk know, but it's afro. But it's afro. Okay, yeah. so it's like afro, yeah. and then this side is all shaved. Yeah. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Your second question. Tell us three things you love about Ghana. Three things you love about three Ghana. Three things I like about Ghana. Our hospitality. Okay. Our hospitality, our culture, our culture, very vibrant culture, and our music, mm. especially the highlight. The highlight is very, very true. I think I also love these three things. See, our culture is so vibrant. The music, the high life, but it's just the stories that they our tell. Our gospel, they are portraying yeah. high life. Yeah. yeah, it's true. And what I really love about the high life is like they are always telling stories. Yeah. They are always telling stories, you know. So, third question What do you love about being a mom? Like what being a mom, mom, what do you love about it? I like what I like about being a mom is how a mother natured a, a child, child from okay. the childhood okay. he grows to become a good adult. Okay. So be a mother means you are serving your God. True. So my mom is proud about being able to bring forth another child into the world and you know the whole process of nurturing somebody else to become a good adult that is what she loves most about being a mom and it's also like an honor to God and to nature itself so that is my mom let's pick another question okay so the next question is Tell us one funny memory you had in school. <laughs> Tell us one funny memory hmm. you had in school. Sorry. This one. Hmm. When I was in, it was then from a middle school. So when I was in form three, I don't normally go to singing that period what is singing you learn how to sing okay and this our singing teacher very strict you you sing all the parts but still but still <laughs> you will not be satisfied those kind of teachers so during singing period 
we, we prefer going out to steal mangoes. <laughs> People, so they, they were mangoes around the school. Okay. Compound. Outside the school. Outside compound. the school. Compound. So yeah. you sneak going to singing, singing class. class, then you go and steal the mangoes. So one day, unfortunately for us, when we were coming back, the teacher we saw met the singing we, teacher. we met the teacher. Uh, and the teacher said, we should sing the song he taught in our absence. How are you going to do that? And we were not able to sing it. And oh, I will never forget that. Beatings. Beatings! <laughs> Bear back beatings. <laughs> now they don't do that in school anymore. <laughs> and let's pick another question. Okay, so the next question is what was your source of entertainment back in your time? What did you do for entertainment back in your days? In our days, almost like the same. We go to concerts. Okay. Then we have something called afternoon jump. Twelve o'clock. The concert four. like the concert. Concert. Party. No, not concert. Uh, it's almost like concert party, but they have bandstand. Band, so like okay, so musical they, concert. They, they play musical yeah. for at least three hours before mm -hmm. they do the drama. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. We dance, we dance. This uh, that time we have something called so to so. so that to is so. English song. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh -huh. so good, so nice. Yeah. I carry you. Bam, 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 bam. So yeah. we sing just we dance the so to so for some time before they come and do their the, the drama. drama. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. So around two, three a.m. Then. Close. So we we'll start in the afternoon. No, we start from 9 p.m. to oh, okay. 2 a.m. Okay. okay. That is the evening uh, concert. The evening concert. But the afternoon jump is mainly for dancing. Okay. okay. 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock. Okay. So when they send us to go and sell ice water, we steal some of the money. <laughs> Then we go and pack our. Uh, and she's uh, been beating me for stealing uh, we, coins. You, you go and pack our bucket somewhere. Then you go to the afternoon jam before you go. Before you go, home. when your yeah. mother is waiting for you in the house to bring the money you've so you go for afternoon concert. Uh, you see, and like mother, like daughter. If 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 you go to a dance under age, they will arrest you. Okay, put it's you. for like uh, for eighteen and above. Eighteen and above. Okay, hmm. but we even still go. sometimes you go. How old were you? Fourteen, fifteen. Oh. You go. <laughs> we sneak and go. We wear. A My food. mom did not let me out at the age of fifteen, even up to date. When I come to Kofoidi, I should be asking me where are you going? This, that, that. Meanwhile, she's been going out. She's been sneaking out at age fourteen. Can you imagine, people? We wear our mother's Afro wig. See? Then we go. <laughs> so if you are not lucky, then they, and they catch uh, you. They will put you in uh, counterback. Take your next question. Next question is Tell us one unforgettable memory of me as a child. One unforgettable memory of me as a child. Something that I don't I know I don't remember. Because I don't remember much okay. about my childhood. When you 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 were celebrating your fifth anniversary, we were in Nigeria. So they have a fair that we celebrate uh, weddings and birthday and so on and so forth. So we, I decided to take you to that ferry. They sail to a place called Takwa Bay. Okay. It's a beach. So okay. when they sail to that place, you get down and enjoy the environment. So the boat sails from one point to Takwa Bay? Yeah. Okay. And the previous week, 
your one of your friends celebrated his birthday at the lake beach okay. and when we went there the there there were horses all around the place so we were behaving as if you were sick not knowing that you were afraid of the, the <laughs> horse so when it was your turn to go to the takwabi when you are about to enter the ferry you got down and went to the guard and were asking him something okay. so later i went there and i asked the man what, what was the man asking him? the man said you were asking him whether there is horse ah. in the ferry <laughs> And the man said, no. uh, "So when we sail to the Takwa Bay, you didn't come down from there. So, I didn't come down from the ferry. No. So I have to stay with you in the ferry whilst my friend and were, were enjoying, enjoying <laughs> it. So imagine what will happen. I was annoying, talking to." Her. <laughs> I've spent my money for nothing. Yeah. You, this okra sinning girl, all these sort of things. People, you see, <laughs> I've been afraid of things since childhood, okay? So, I'm, I'm getting we better at the, things uh, very now. till 4 o'clock that we sail back to our I was business. just in, like, huh? and then everybody was out on the And I, I couldn't leave you alone in the ferry, so I have oh, to stay with sorry. you. Sorry, so next question. Big two. Okay, so next question is what is the one Ghanaian culture you wish we still practice? What is the one Ghanaian culture you wish we still practice? I wish you still practice the bravo. Bravo. Okay, the puberty. Yeah, when uh, like a young the teenagers you see have your first menses, menses. Yeah. and they honor you, they give it's you It's the same gifts. as the depot, right? No, depot is also poverty, right? But these are different. Every... But, okay, so this is uh, for different tribes. Yes, but for it's the our same tri- thing. Uh-huh. Okay. okay. We, we give you... That is when you are a good uh, child. You okay. say, uh-huh. They will give you Gifts. gifts your mother okay. will give you gifts the community the whole community uh-huh. will give you and gifts. the queen mother will teach you some of our culture okay. and okay. how to keep yourself so as a and woman stuff. yeah but um don't they like go naked no no they don't in go our naked. in our uh, place okay okay, don't okay. Go naked. so why are they not practicing it like, i don't know Okay, so me and my mother, we are bringing Bragor back, back to you guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so watch out for that video. Then. So next question is, who is your favorite Ghanaian young artist? My Who's favorite, favorite Ghanaian young artist. Ghanaian young artist. Yeah. Is Kofi Kinata. <laughs> They all so forba. Okay. <laughs> Kofi Kinata. My mom says you are her favorite yeah. Ghanaian young artist. Yeah. Okay, so sing one song from if it's your favorite, sing one song from Kofi Kinata. Okay. <laughs> I like the drama in the song. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know that I love drama, mm-hmm. so I love the drama in the, in the song. Actually, the the boy song has meaning. meaning. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It's true. Though. It's no true. wonder he won the the best song right. Yeah. yeah. I, love, I love. I also I love, love his songs. Yeah, also. I love the boy. It's always like sending uh, some message, message yeah. to people. So thinking outside, you have a fun here. Yeah. yeah. So I one, give you two. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not the least question. Oh, okay. So wh- who is your favorite um, old time artist? And then you sing one song from them. My favorite old time artist. Mm-hmm. 
Akwesi Ampofreje. Akwesi Ampofreje. May his soul rest in yeah. perfect peace. May his soul rest in perfect peace. Yeah. And what is the one this favorite? One. I think this one. Um, Oh yeah, Papa. Oh yeah, Fa. Oh yeah, Fa. Oh yeah, Fa. Oh yeah, Bonia. Oh yeah, Fa. It's a bonus. If you grow good, you do for yourself. If you do bad, you do for yourself. Papa, ta 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 yeah i love that song. I, lo I love that song uh, and i always remember the story yeah. um surrounding that song this is why i said i love high life there's yeah. always like a story it's not just them singing they yeah. always have a storyline so these kind of stories always stick in my my head and i remember this song very well i actually use it's something that is one of the songs that helped shape my life because i always remember that it was a story about um, a rich woman who who poisoned a madman so there was this madman who would always go to this beg. rich yeah. rich woman to beg for bread okay and then at a point she got fed up and she was like let me just poison him so that he doesn't bother me again she poisoned the bread to give to the madman he gave it she gave it to the madman the woman had two daughters i think so the day she decided to poison the madman she did that gave the bread to the madman and that day when her kids closed from school they met this madman and they were like oh we are hungry can you give us some of your bread and he just gave the bread to the, the, to the, the rich bread. man yeah. the rich woman's kids they ate the bread and they, they died, died because she had actually poisoned the bread so this story has always stayed in my head and i'm like if you do good you do, you do for, for yourself, yourself. You do but because they will always come back to, to you yeah. so that is one message for Akwesi Ampofu AJ. okay so rest, rest in peace. peace so we are done with the questions mm -hmm. and um since the mother's day celebration i just want to ask you what you remember about your mom i didn't get to meet my grandmother from my mom's side so i really don't know much about her so um what is one thing that you remember about your mother that you would like to share with us my mom was so beautiful that's quite neat what i remember most that when I was about age 12, I don't quite remember what, the age, um, but about age 12, 13, or to 14. This, uh, in this, in the village, there was no light, mm -hmm. so you always use the moonlight for our celebration. Okay, so when we have the moonlight we call uh, something moonlight dancing dancing uh -huh. we form circle and all the maidens will be around okay then the boys will surround somewhere watching, watching us you. Uh -huh. then we bring we sing then one person will go in the middle, in the middle. and dance okay. and at that time at that age I know how to dance very well. Okay. So whenever it reach my turn to dance, then then will bring white handkerchief to me to dance. Okay. So one day I told my mom that this is what is happening. I don't I don't know. I don't understand why only me. Anytime I'm in the circle, that man and he was an elderly man. That man would bring white, white handkerchief to me. Why? My mom didn't say it. Within one week time, my mom called my uncle to come and pick me from the village. And I went to stay with my uncle at Winnie. Okay. Do you so, know why? 
I didn't know why, but later I asked her why. My mom told me that he did that for my own sake. Okay. Because the man should have used a spell on me. Oh, okay. So later yeah. he can decide to marry me and I will not go to school again. That is oh, how okay. they So the white hanky was like a spell? Yes. So my mom was very vigilant, always keeping eyes Eye on her kids. Yeah. So that thing, eh, if I remember till now, I, 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 very thankful yeah. to have you wouldn't have known yes, like how it would have to have ended. such a mother. Yeah. So wherever she is, in, may your soul rest in perfect peace, Grandma. What message do you have to our mothers out there, especially the single mothers? And I'm saying that because. Um, I'm a product of a single mother. My mom has raised me all by herself. And so I know the struggle. I've seen the hassle of being a single mother. I had to help out several times. Uh, there are times I had to, you know, carry food in my uniform yeah, to go yeah, to school. Yeah, I remember. Um, sell late early in the morning, wash the plates and stuff like that before I go to my class to start learning so i see all that and i appreciate single mothers so yeah what message mm. do you have for single mothers out there for single mothers out there may god bless them amen i pray to god that they will not suffer in vain mm -hmm. yeah they will reap the product of their uh, their the, the hustle, yes. their struggle, mm -hmm. the hardship they went through. May God yeah. blemish them. May God help each and every one of them. And mostly, they should live long mm -hmm. to see their grandchildren uh, and their great grandchildren. In fact, they should live long mm -hmm. so that. They can they, enjoy they, they the can fruit of their labor. The fruit you know? of their labor. Because that's the most painful part that your mom will go through all this struggle. God bless you. Finally God bless make it. single yeah. mothers. Yeah. God bless all mothers. Yeah. And we are not saying those with husbands and stuff don't deserve blessed, but we are just speaking from the experience that we've had. So I'm more appreciative and I'm more grateful to the single mothers because it's not easy, not easy you know, to do all that. You have to be the father and the mother at the same time. And it's also my prayer, as my mom said, that God will bless you. I pray for good health, long life for all mothers and also the strength to be able to, you know, take on the task of taking care of your kids. So, uh, what do we say to all mothers? Let's cheers. Happy Mother's Day. Day.